Welcome back to the Griddle, guys. Thanks for joining us. We are at Jeff's house today, and today we are doing, well, first, just gonna start a fire. Don't try this at home. Nate and I already tried, I'm not trying to get him to not do this. <laughs> but I'm gonna back up a little bit. Yeah, don't try this at your home. Let Jeff try it at his. <laughs> today on the menu, we are doing meatloaf on the griddle. Ma! <laughs> Ma, give me the meatloaf! Hey, Ma! Can we get some meatloaf? Bacon wrapped meatloaf. Bacon wrapped. Is, is it? It's, it's bacon wrapped, right, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to do it on the grill. Oh, hello. That's Done. a fire. <laughs> yeah. That's a fire. Nice. Oh, we won't be cold tonight. No. Nope. <laughs> So meatloaf, we do it on the griddle. It's a technique that Jeff had already done it a couple times, I think. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to do it on the griddle, but it's a technique you can. Yeah, it's We're just to show, show you guys. Just to show that you can. It's yeah. a uh, kind of a longer cook, so it's more or less just hanging out. So yeah. if you get some time around the fire, you're hanging out. You want to cook something? This will keep everybody warm. Perfect. Stick around. So this is going to be pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, loaf pan. This is a nine by five inch loaf pan. It works perfect for three pounds of beef. And I just cut out a piece of wax paper to line it, so that way we can get it out once we get it packed in there. That whole thing's gonna fit in that little thing, really? It's gonna be close. Yeah. I did it before, like I said, three pounds kinda just is. It just works. So it's really simple. Just doing uh, about six cloves of garlic, half an onion, uh, diced really fine. I am not doing breadcrumbs because this is going to be a low carb, not necessarily healthy, but low carb. One egg, and Chris, I'm going to ask you to assist with this. Cholula. One five ounce bottle of Cholula. The, the, whole, thing? the whole bottle? Guys, <laughs> I trust, love it. Trust me. Man. I love it. Can't go wrong. That is good sauce. Well, Chris is going with that. I'm just going to mix it lightly. A um, little salt and pepper, too. Don't forget, this is three pounds of beef, so you can go pretty heavy on. I'm more interested now. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. You don't need to go too, heavy, too crazy on the salt because it is going to be wrapped in bacon, so... All done. All done. Get in there. Go get it. So you don't really want to mush it too much. You just want to mix it as much as you can without mushing it too much because it gets a little rough or a little tough if you pack it too much. Plus, we're going to be packing it into the pan as well. So do you put the bacon in the pan first or you do that after? Uh, we're going to line the pan with bacon ah. so that way we can wrap it around Hold it. it over. Don't cut it. <laughs> you guys know, you know, you guys know, know nothing you about bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We get this mixed up. Looks pretty good. It doesn't even look that wet. That's a whole container of Vanchulula. Uh, it doesn't Smells even look good. that wet. It smells real good. So we'll uh, start wrapping the pan before we pack it. I'll show you how that's done. So normally I get my uh, local market basket or a local market, uh, their bacon, and it's usually really thin and really long. The one time I do this, <laughs> it's Thick. thicker and it's not really stretching too short. much, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is just alternate back and forth in the pan. So we're just doing this so that way we can... Oh, when you say alternate, you're, you mean overhanging the yeah, opposite well, edge? the opposite edge. Side. Okay. Just to try and hope, get it so that it sticks. So you didn't buy the extra, extra long bacon, apparently. I did not buy the extra, extra long bacon. And you can do this any size. It obviously doesn't have to be three pounds. If you get a smaller loaf pan, that'll work too. You just got to find one of those slabs of bacon cut from a pig that's like five and a half feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> and in this case, this is one of the few times that too much bacon isn't necessarily a good thing because you don't want it to be too soggy. What? Too much bacon is not a good thing? So that's it. That's right. it. We're going to stop packing this in. And I'm going to do it in small clumps to try and pack it together. And I know that goes against most meatloaf fanatics way of doing it. But 
you're gonna have a three pound brick of beef that you don't wanna be uh, breaking apart as you're flipping it. So I'm just gonna do this in layers. Smells good. Looks good. Mm. A lot of concentration on Jeff's part right now. <laughs> a lot of concentration. Well, it's pretty good with that meat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And really the only thing that has carbs in this is uh, the onions. But I think it just adds enough to it that it's worth it. That's minimal anyway. Yeah. Is that all of it? Almost. Pretty close. Good, yeah. So how long is this going to take to cook? Three and a half hours. For real? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do uh, 12 minutes on each side, medium, high heat. But as you can see, that's three pounds. Wow. That's packed in there. Good job. Right up to the very edge. Yeah. So this is going to be maybe a sacrificial, sacrificial piece of bacon that we're just going to put on top. Might end up coming off. But if you get thinner bacon that's longer and it wraps over the top, you'll be good to go. Uh, Got the griddle on medium heat right now, I believe. You want to keep it on there? Yeah, medium, medium high. Okay. Like I said, 12 minutes per side. Now you're going to grab the bacon from the sides, wrap it over. That's a pretty serious piece of meat. That That's is. really going to go on the griddle, huh? Ma would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, man. Wow. So like I said, these might come undone, they might not. A couple times they have, a couple times they haven't. But give it a shot. All right, we're ready to throw that down on the griddle. Let's do it. So we uh, just cooked the leftover bacon. Instead of having to put too much oil down, now we don't need to put as much oil. Well done, sir. All right, so we're gonna pour a little bit of oil. And as you can see, my sandbox isn't that level. Well done, Jeff. Voila. Good job. One brick of uh, meatloaf. 12 minutes. Countdown. 12 minutes on each side. It's not a clock. Dome it. And it's medium, medium high. Come back to this in 12 minutes. See what it looks like. It's been uh, about 12 minutes. There it is. Now, flipping this, a little tricky. But, you just want to try and make sure you get under it. Oh, man. That's nice. Well done. Look at that. And you know what? If a little bacon comes off the side, it still tastes good. <laughs> it still tastes good. That's good. So we're going to leave this for another 11 minutes, 12 minutes. I already started the timer. That's it. Smells good. It's that easy. Get back to the fire. 12 minutes is up. We're off to our second roll. Oh, yeah. Now you just gotta balance it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, right there. Another 12 minutes. All right, so now we're gonna do the uh, third flip onto the fourth side. And still holding together. Looks good. Starts to get a little tricky here. Oh yeah. That looks good. Well done. And you can feel it starting to get firm, firm up a little bit. So I was saying four sides, 12 minutes a side, and that's what we're doing. But realistically, once we uh, get this down for 12 minutes, we're going to stop probing it. And then you can keep flipping it, rolling it around to get up to the temp. We're shooting for like 155 because it's Hamburg. Um, yeah. So we'll dome this another sure. uh, 12 minutes and see what temp we got. So we're down to the uh, fourth side. has been down for 12 minutes. Looking good, Jeff. Looking good. We're going to probe it. This is a thick meatloaf. 
So we're like 130, 131, 46, 134. So it looks like our lowest temperature is like 134, 131, something like that. Um, so we're just gonna roll this around a little bit just to get the temp up. We're shooting for 155. You can feel it's kind of tighter now, which is good. So we're gonna do like two minutes aside. Keep checking it because once you get into the 130s, 140s, it rises quick. So we'll keep checking this every two minutes or so. Rolling it around, still doming it. The fire started eight hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Added an extra like two minutes to each side. Voila! Oh, that is looking beautiful. <laughs> that is looking beautiful. Oh yeah, that looks good. Probe job. it here. So the probe. 170. 160. We're done. We are done. We're done. I just want to. Uh, Show that off too. Chris got us a nice Christmas gift this year. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna dirty it up right now. <laughs> what do you do? Don't drop it. Yeah. I'll put that right on there. And I may not have mentioned it before, but every time you flip this, you want to try and wiggle the spatula under there. So that way you separate the bacon. And that's it, man. Well, let it sit for it. like a couple minutes, right? I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. I'm gonna call that done. That looks good, Jeff. Well done. Hope it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Meatloaf is done. Done. I'm gonna dig right in here. Oh, that's a big piece. We didn't really let this cool too long. Oh, it's tasty. Really good. Surprisingly, you don't taste the. Uh, oh, I'm getting a little bit of the. Uh, mm, I heard the jewel. Bit. I'm getting it. Yeah. Oh, bit, good. Yeah. Not very spicy though. I like it. Yeah. Good I stuff. I like it a Jeff. lot. Wow. Yeah. So this was more oh, or less just a lot of good taste. showing that you could do a meatloaf on the griddle. It takes about an hour. We sat around, talked. It was fun. Yeah. Well, we didn't have to really do much tonight. Finally <laughs> got the fire going. Yeah. Very good. Well done, Jeff. So guys, uh, definitely like, subscribe, share. That's a big one. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's good times. Let us know what you think. Meatloaf. See you in the next video.